This is going to be our table for the whole cruise. We are table 19, 19, 19. Water level. Watch the water go spinning by. There is the chef choice side every night. Is the wine. What is the kind of Zareta? Our wine tonight. Every night we're going to switch the wine. Okay. So tonight for the white, we have Big Paul de Pinet. Big Paul is the grape and the region is Longa Deck. And, and the, oh, Credo Vento, it's a Grenache and Syrah. They had that roses tree the first night. Plain butter and some kind of a spready stuff. We certainly have enough silverware here. There. 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 It's a mixture of crab and shrimp, and it was sriracha. I had to turn on my <laughs> my phone, my iPhone, to see exactly where the olive oil is from. It's from Italia. Here is my beef. Where's the beef? What a pleasure to have a pot of coffee on the table. There are no buffets, everything is from a menu, and it's a typical breakfast menu. We tried the waffles, which I did not video, hard as a rock. Sent them back, I'm waiting for bacon and eggs. And there are like five different kinds of yogurts. Steve likes this one the best, the fruit yogurt. So after I sent back the waffles, I just ordered plain ordinary fried eggs and bacon. They said at lunch every single day, they bring a series of appetizers. That's a seafood salad, um, vegetables, an artichoke spread, and cheese. This beef is a brisket, and it was marinated. I heard them talking for hours overnight, and then cooked for hours. Chakrut, which is cabbage, and potatoes. I ordered two desserts tonight. I'm not taking any chances. Rum raisin ice cream, and I also ordered um, a lemon tart, which is forthcoming. And here's the lemon tart. Tonight is chickpea mousse in there. This is just the chef's recommendations to go through the entire thing, you know, with sorbets. Or, but then on the other side of the menu is the mix and match portion. And at the bottom is the always available, the beef steak with peppercorn, salmon filet with hollandaise or sauce of the day. Excellent. You're always excellent. How about yourself? Always okay. excellent. Thank you. We Merci are beaucoup. Okay. How about you? Tonight I'm going to do this salad with blue cheese, figs, red onion confit, and raspberry vinaigrette. This is just a comment. During COVID, they assign you to a table for the whole seven days. And I wonder what if you're at a table with incompatible people? that you don't like. Will they change you later on? Here's our capaccio of beef. And I found out, yes, they will change you. Lovely salad, which could actually be my entire meal. Since I ate lunch today, and I rarely eat lunch. Steve is tucking into his beef steak and palm frites, where I have it's my pork wellington. And that is apple. I couldn't understand what the heck it was. Bon appetit. Tonight, this dessert is Steve's all-time favorite. Chocolate lava cake. Yum, 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 yum. Today, I'm going to try the Eggs Benedict. And I asked for a little extra holidays. Our poor server. I keep sending him back and forth. He brings something. I go, no, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you. No, whatever on that. And then he runs back again. And then he goes, oh, and I forgot. Where's the honey? We just had breakfast a few hours ago. But how can I resist lunch when there is such a repast? The charcuterie, calamari, an olive tapenade, eggplant or aubergine, and a sweet sour dipping sauce for the calamari. 
I expected a skinny little apricot tart, not a big piece of apricot cake. Their desserts have not rung my bells, except for the lava cake last night. You can also grab lunch every day here in the lounge. For instance, today they had the croque monsieur, tofu, the cake that I did not like, that apricot gateau. And always available is a hamburger, cheeseburger, pizza, or assorted cold cuts. For instance, the appetizer of starter is goat cheese mousse. And I think I'm going to try the grilled codfish filet with shrimp sauce. And they've got the United Airlines special braised short ribs. Ew! And for me, definitely souffle, vanilla souffle. Tonight's spread is a red bell pepper. Here is the goat cheese on beetroot carpaccio. And to me, it looks like Rancho Marx. Two eyeballs and a nose in the center. I am attempting the cod tonight in a shrimp sauce. Their presentation is beautiful. And food has been very good. Here is my little souffle. There was Grand Marnier in it. I, I tasted it and I sent it. Richard to the kitchen to find out, and yes, I was correct, which is why it was very yummy. This is asparagus with uh, dry, sun-dried tomatoes, charcuterie, a cottage cheese, and pâté de foie gras. I told him, bring another pâté de foie gras. I stand corrected, it's duck roulette. Duck roulette. Not pâté de foie gras, but it's still good. This is a life. Sitting, drinking wine, eating, and watching gorgeous scenery go by. Choices today for lunch were either a sandwich of cheese or beef bourguignon, which basically is beef stew. So we're doing the beef stew only because I don't care if it's good or bad. They we ordered two desserts each, a blueberry cheesecake and a salted caramel ice cream with caramel sauce. Steve and I are debating what it is. We think it's Boutte Cerrone. We're doubling up on desserts today because I'm not quite sure whether or not I'm going to love their blueberry cheesecake. For sure, the salted caramel ice cream with caramel sauce will be delicious. The ice cream sundae is much better than the cheesecake. Is that cute? Look, I don't know, I think there's some confusion between the Halloween dinner and Thanksgiving dinner because they've got turkey and stuffing as a main course tonight with mashed potatoes, sweet mashed potatoes. And that is a very spicy guacamole. Holy guacamole! I ordered four tiger prawns. Hope they're good enough to justify them baking four. Ooh, look at that. What is going on? Hi there. That's scary. Thank you, Okay. Here's poor Richard sweating to death in his obligatory mask. Yes, a little and all bit more. That. little bit more than usually. <laughs> yes. Oh, pretty, pretty plate. My dinner plates at Thanksgiving will look nothing like that. They have breakfast specials of the day. And today sounds appealing. Breakfast burrito. Scrambled eggs, bacon, hash browns, cheddar. They bring fruit every morning, but the fruit tastes nothing like what we had in Spain last month. That was uber yummy. Breakfast burrito. What a lunch today for starters. Escargot which are snails. Steve and I actually love escargot. Buffalo wings. First they said 
that was goat cheese, but it is not. I it's brie and avocado. And one of the items for lunch today on the French cooking station is mussels, mules. I got my little slimy escargot out of there. Escargot are more like mushrooms to me. There's no specific taste. It's the garlic butter that you cook it in that really makes a difference. This is what our wine is today. Very yummy, right, Brie? Steve and I ate double buffalo wings. Delicious. And we both had double escargot. And here are their rules. You know, I will travel with Am again just for their food. Really excellent. I'm still stuffed from the eight escargot I ate for lunch and the mussels. For the main courses, there's a choice of a John Dory filet and herb crusted lamb leg. It's going to be the lamb for me. And then I'm going to have the floating island, Ile Flotante with meringue, anything with meringue grabs me, caramel sauce, fresh berries, and of course Steve will have the pistachio, ice cream, chocolate sauce, etc. The bread spread is chickpea with curry. This is the special for tonight. It is smoked trout roulette. Richard took away my trout already, but it really was not to my taste. Tonight I'm drinking a really excellent Beaujolais. What a wonderful looking plate. A leg of lamb. Don't you wish you could make a leg of lamb like that? They cook the vegetables perfectly. They're nice and crisp. Not soggy. Like my mother used to do. Here are the sorbets. That is my floating island, and Steve has, guess what? Pistachio ice cream and a hot fudge sauce. Alexa, can you be in my video? This is wonderful Alexa from Romania, who has taken such good care of our wine. And if you ever need to know one important word, it is mozzamesk which is thank you in Romania. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, here is my brioche French toast. I'm gonna to see how it tastes, if it's good. Maybe a second piece, if not. The brioche French toast was absolutely yummy. This is what's left of my second piece, plus I had to brew some bacon to plop on top and some more fruit. Very yum. I know one viewer told me it's disgusting to show half-eaten food and Perhaps it is, but I just wanted you to see how much I enjoyed it. Okay, I'm going to start from the back. Hummus. I don't know if it's Alex. Charcuterie. <laughs> artichoke ah, salad. And feta with chutney. Mango chutney. Mango, mango chutney. I love mango. Look at Gabrielle's absolutely gorgeous eyes. I'm Thank going you. to be reincarnated with eyes like that. Today's French cooking station is Cocovan Rouge, which I have never been a big f fan of that. I prefer the stuffed calamari with salmon mousse and grat ooh, gratiné cauliflower in the Mornay sauce. That's for me. And this is not feta, it's camembert. The stuffed calamari, it's stuffed with salmon mousse. See what the salmon mousse looks like inside. Here's the salmon mousse. And I ordered also the gratinade cauliflower. I didn't realize that they would bring us each almost a whole cauliflower. I just wanted a little bit of it. In both of our opinions, the cauliflower with hollandaise sauce is better than the calamari stuffed with salmon mousse. Welcome to the captain's party and I love Leon. Really great city of in the entire Emperor, in the entire area 1.5 million people. A vote to Tonight's big dinner is captain's dinner. Grilled Atlantic 
scallop. Then the main course, either the grouper filet with caviar sauce or beef tenderloin with shrimp. They dragged out the Louis Jadot Beaujolais Village for me. It was so good. Tonight's chickpea is with cheese. The scallop is buried in here. It's not that. There. There is my scallop. The tenderloin is so tender <laughs> that it cuts like butter. It is really good. One lacking in Ama Waterways food, or at least food right now, the Ama Christina is only two desserts to choose from. I really would have liked a third dessert. Almost the entire crew is from Romania, except for our wonderful server, Richard, who is from Slovakia. Today is the salmon tartare. That's beef, chicken. I thought we were going to have pate de foie gras. I guess I'm wrong. And I'm not sure what this... I just learned that's a ricotta spread. The raw salmon is really, really good, and so is that beef salad. It's all beef. Today it's pasta in truffle sauce with lots of Parmesan. And they told me that's a cherry. I don't know. I've never seen a cherry looking like that. Today's pasta is superb. Really, really superb. As was the raw salmon or salmon tartare. The captain just started the engines. We're going to reposition the ship. We are going to move out so Viking can move out and set off toward Vienne. Then we move in. Land. A Paris breast is just another name for an eclair, except a Paris breast is round and eclair is long. An antipasti a la chef. Well, of course we're going to have the antipasti. I would like the duck and I would also like a small helping of the risotto. And I'm going to have the creme brulee. And of course he's going to have two scoops of the ice cream with the hot fudge and everything else. Here is the appetizer. Yes, it's time for the last dinner. Very peak rare duck and orange sauce. Steve is having one last steak. That's, I wanted to taste the risotto. It's asparagus risotto. So, it's a two entree night. We all know what creme brulee is like, and the big attraction for me with the creme brulee is the caramelized top. That's the best part. Not the custard, but the sugar coating. And with this dessert, we say au revoir to food in France. Very yum.